In this video, I'm picking up stitches around the neckline for the thea top. I've knit the body on a 3.5 millimeter needle and I'm picking up the stitches around with a 2.75 millimeter needle. So um, I'm working with a couple of needle sizes smaller than the pattern. So I've got my working yarn and I'm going to pick up one for one across the back stitches. So I've finished picking up along the back stitches and then now I'm going to be working down the side. I can see that this lines up, this lines up here. So this stitch would line up there. So I'm going to start in the next one and I'll be picking up two for three on the side. And then I'll pick up three for four along the angle because that's longer. So I'll go one, two, and then skip one, skip that one. And you can see that where I'll be picking up is one stitch in from this column of stitches. So pick up two, skip one, pick up, the uh, yarn's a little bit splitty. Pick up two, one, two. You have to be patient. You can use a crochet hook to help you, but usually I just use my thumb to help me. So I just don't want my thumb in the way. So I'll be skipping that one and going to the next one. So I'll be picking up two for three along here and then three for four along here because obviously a diagonal is longer than um, vertical and my numbers are, are different because I've I've, um, I've cast on less stitches because um, my gauge is a little bit different now the pattern actually asks you to crochet around the edges and then pick up the stitches um, I've never really done that before and I haven't felt it necessary the other thing that is a bit different um, for me is that I didn't do the um, garter edge. They recommended that every edge stitch was a knit, even though, um, even if you're on a purl row, you just always knit the last stitch. And um, I know that's um, something that the old pattern books that I used to read did, but um, I just find I get a better result if it's stockinette, not garter on the end. So I've just been going down pick one up, skip one, oh, sorry, pick two up, skip one, so two for three. So that was my last one on the back and I've picked up two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And I had 20 rows down here. So two for three with 20 rows is roughly 13. So it looks like I'm kind of on track. So I'm gonna skip that one. And then now I'll start picking up three for four down the angle. That's one, two. You'll notice um, one is larger than, the, one's easier to get into than the other. One, two, three. So I've got one, two, three. The one that I'm gonna skip is that little tight one in there. So I'll skip that one and then it will be one. You'll see like one's one's easy to get in and one's tighter to get in. So that's one, that's the tighter one, two. If I can get in there. Two, and then the easy one, three. Skip the tight one. 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 two, three, it's nice skipping the tight one, <laughs> skip one, one, get into that tricky one, two, feel free to fast forward me, but for, for those who want to um, watch this step, so, 
three, six, nine, twelve. And I think I'm, I've written down that I'm expecting to pick up about 21 here. So still working my way down the side, the angle. I will make sure I pick up the same number on the other side, so I'll make a note. But it should be, I mean, it should end up being the same, um, given that they're the same number of rows. Skip one. one sorry someone's got their blower going in the background it's just inevitable I can't ever record without some kind of background noise of <laughs> dog tapping or people with leaf blowers this is really open here because that's where the yarn was joined so I'm getting up to the cast on stitches at the neckline so I'm just going to see how many I've got. So I've got 12 up here and then 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Skip that one. 1, 2, So I think I'm at 20 now. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. And then I'll start picking up along, along these cast on edge. And I pick up one for one there. I think I've, um, I've only got 12 there. So I'm going under two loops. Like that. Because the yarn's quite splitty, I'm being a bit careful. Like looking through to the other side to see that I haven't actually split the stitch. Sometimes it's easier to pick up rather than looking at this side, looking at the top. And making sure that your needle's going underneath the V and I'm not splitting anything. So I should be coming out of each V because I'm picking up one for one here. So I'll, I'll fast forward to the end. So I've finished picking up the 12 cast on stitches at the center front and now I have to pick up 20 up this side and then 12 along the strap so and I can see this is the line I'm going to be going up because here are my increases right on the edge those sort of lines like that one two three four those there are the increases so I'll be picking up just in from that so I'll go one two Three and then skip one, four, five, six, skip one, seven, eight. Skip one, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Skip one, sixteen. 17, oops, 17, 18, so 
the title one, 18. Skip one, 19. 20. And it looks like I'm up to the strap now, so I'll start going two for three. So I, if I found out, if I get to here and I find out I haven't picked up enough, I might come back and not skip one there. So um, I'm prepared at this point that I might have to go back a little bit if I don't quite get the right number because I want another, I want another 12 and I want a one by one rib and it's in the round. So I need an even number of stitches. So, and so far I've been picking up in even groups. So I definitely need even no matter what. And I prefer 12 rather than 14, or this one's just a little bit longer than this one. So, one, two, skip one. And I've just got to make sure I'm going in the right line. So that's... Because I'm going in the opposite direction to the knitting, so the knitting was done this way. So I'm actually, but I still only want to go one stitch in. So I'm just making sure I'm in the right line, which I am, which is good. Okay, now I have to work out where I am again. So um, sometimes I put a marker in here or something to make sure that I'm like, oh, hang on, so I don't have to go back and keep counting. So this is where the 12 is finished. Sorry, my dog. Three, six, nine. You can kind of see them in the groups that you pick them up because they sort of have a little bit of a space from where you um, where you skipped one. So that's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 20. Okay, so I've got two, skip one, three, four, just move it around a little bit now, four, Skip one, five, six. Sorry if this is really boring, you can always skip to the end, but um, six, skip one, seven, eight, skip one, nine, ten. If I end up with one too many, I'll just purl two together on the last round, rather than skip one where I don't want to skip one, because I'm up to 10, I need two more. Um, if I need to pick up 11, I'll just join it together. Oopsie, right at the end. Got the rest of, I haven't finished the rest of the top. I um, decided to do the neckline before I actually even joined for working in the round. So I've got a bit of an idea of, am I ready to join for working in the round? after the necklines pull it up a little bit or do I need to go a couple more rows so I've got two more to pick up one two now I feel like that's not too bad but I would maybe pick up actually that should be all right let me have a look at that see that just feels like a little bit of a gap there um, if I was to pick something up I would pick it up there and then what I'll do is um, let's see, that's my pickup. Let me just have a look at that. Does that look all right? So this is where I would start my round. And I think that would be, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to pick that one up and then I'll um, purl two together at the end. So I'm going to start with my one by one rib now. And there's only a few rows. And I'm just going to see how I like it, you know, like I'll, I'll finish it, bind off. If I don't like it, I'll rip it, I'll undo it if I think it's too loose or too tight. If it's too loose, I'll pick up less stitches. If it's too tight, I'll pick up a few more. Um, but the it's only a few rows. That didn't take very long. Um, and it's worth redoing if you're unhappy with the result. So I'll report back. So here's the theatre top where I've actually um, done five rows of one by one ribbing on a 2.75 mil needle and then two setup rows and then the tubular bind off. Um, so I did the setup rows on the 2.5 mil needle. And I did that um, so that I could get the neckline finished before I actually even joined the body because I wanted to see where the armholes were going to sit and how the ribbing for the neckline would pull up a little bit and so I ended up doing four more rows on the front and the back 
and then now I'm ready to join in the round. So I was able to try it on and be sure that um, I liked where the where the armholes were going to finish, knowing that I would have um, another five inches of ribbing above where I join. So um, because my row gauge is a little bit different, um, I needed to do those extra four rows um, because I'm using a smaller needle. I expect my row gauge to be a little bit a little bit smaller. What that's done, because if I had have done it, if I had have made these stra straps a little bit longer, um, my um, the neckline would be at about the same point, but because I didn't do that, my neckline's sitting a little bit higher than is shown in the pattern, and I'm fine. So that's really all due to row gauge. If I wanted the neckline to have been similar to where it was in the pattern, I would have needed to do some extra rows here and perhaps a little bit more um, here as well. Um, but I'm happy with how it's um, how it's coming along right now. So this is where I'm at now and it's about eight inches from here down to here and I am ready to um, join and knit in the round.